one shea bear 1000 here just thought i'd give you a little update on some videos to come and what i've been doing uh i wanted to show you guys this this is what i did this year on my outside christmas tree i used my antique that rust was already there but i used my antique uh tripod I just got these lights up here with that thing. Got this on top of it. Only half of them's working now. They'll come out and go on. Next year, I'm going to start the process of changing everything over to LEDs. Because we've got LEDs around the door and LEDs around that window. And they're just so vibrant and they don't fade like these do the Santa Claus is still working good and I've got another one of my older tripods here for this this year because this one was sitting down in here right in this area pointing up at the house but this year I bought another one so I stuck it up in this tree <laughs> that vine's holding it so i got two of them and then that one on top of there which was down here last year pointing up that way and then we had the star one of the star lights on here which we had this year until i tried to fix that one light and it finally quit working so i've been messing around with the timing on this I think I got it pretty close. Um, I haven't put it on the light yet because I was, I've got to either detune this computer, they put an ostrich in it to where you can tune it up and down. I either got to detune this computer or just put a regular computer in it. I might just get a regular computer. They're like a hundred bucks. You don't have to have them flashed or anything. It's just plug and play. You just plug it in and and it just it just works and we're gonna mess around with this a little bit so that's an upcoming video that's not the one we worked on before that's um that's a different one same guy ryan owns it so we're going to check that out uh, i haven't had this running in about a week I haven't had it started so let's see how it starts since I adjusted the timing on it a little bit. But like I said, if I put it on the light and everything, it's not going to be right because of the way the computer's tuned. So I just got it to where it's kind of like a happy medium. Because if you turn it, if you adjust the timing where it, uh, to where it, um, it's given all its power, then, you know, it's a little too far ahead, so, let's try this. Yeah, I got it pretty close.
let's see how it starts now. All right, cool. So, of course I washed it and now we got all the leaves on here making it dirty again. But yeah, there it is. Making a little noise up front, like a tinny noise. I think it's either a an idler pulley or the water pump. Maybe a combination of both. I know it's going to need a water pump. Water pump never felt right to me. But when I pull that down, when I put a new water pump on, that's pretty cheap. I'm going to go ahead and do the timing while I'm right there, you know, because there's only one more cover. And I'm going to put a P. Jackson gear drive in it, and I'm going to put the noisy one in. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I want to do some work on this thing. I still need to get tires for it. And uh, I got the tank, the gas tank ready to be put back on. It's going to need a fuel pump. That tank is high enough, it'll run without a pump. But I'd still like to have the pump. I can get a, I can get a fuel pump for, I think it was 12 bucks or something like that for that thing. So, But it'll definitely run without it because the tank's higher than the carburetor. But, you know... Still like to put one back on it well it's got one on it it's just no good i know if i take it apart it's just all the the diaphragm and it's going to be bad and i just throw another one on it so that's what we're going to be doing with that then tomorrow today's actually friday but you'll be seeing it tomorrow which will be saturday <laughs> which you'll see that video sunday I'm going to string my hammock out here across in the, uh, the uh, hut. This is actually fencing I've been walking on, so that's going to be a pain probably to get that straightened back out, but that's okay. So, we'll stretch a hammock from that corner. To that corner I'll camp out in it because it's been pretty chilly it's chilly right now I got down really chilly last night like low 40s so yeah that's what I'll do um, I'm gonna do with that and then we'll get the roof on this and uh, so that's pretty much what's been going on Got this tomato plant that mysteriously came up. It's getting cold. So I don't know if it'll produce anything, but it'd be cool if it did. But still, that's, you know. But yeah, that's, I'm still thinking about rebuilding that engine there. Putting it on something. I might, you know, I mean, for all it's going to cost me, <clears throat> might put it on there. If I put it on there, I'll have to get me a reverse gearbox, you know, the gearbox so it'll have reverse. Because these things, even the gas motors, they don't have a reverse, they don't have a transmission. The gas motors, they, um, when you put them in reverse, they start backwards. Yeah, the engine actually runs both ways. It runs forward and backwards, so that's pretty cool. So just an update on what's been going on, which you've probably been following me if you have. You know, if not, well, then I guess you don't, but uh, still waiting to get some extra money. I'm just going to put a new head on that thing. I want to get it, get that thing out maybe this month. We'll see. But yeah, that's uh, that's what's been happening. 
So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. We're gone for now. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.